skinheads last flourished in England 15 years ago. They grew as a reaction against the cosmic ideas of the hippies. Their origins are working class as their boots and braces declare. But why is skinhead being revived in Australia in the mid-1980s? It hasn't been revived. It's changed a lot over the years. It went from being sort of short cropped hair to having hair with tails at the back and stuff like that. That's where the Sharpies over here come from. Went to smoothies, suede heads, which were basically just old skinheads gone smooth. Uh, the fashions changed from tight trousers to flares, high waisters, uh, angel wing collars, all that lot. But it's never really died. Now, it gets a little confusing at this stage as there are two two types of skinhead. There are the scar skins and there's the oi skins. And again, the difference is best shown through their music. Oi music has a lot in common with punk. Hello, Mum. here because these are mainly oi skins dancing to scar music. The oi's generally look tougher, they have tattoos, their hair is shorter and their politics are more extreme. This was the scar skinheads night, but the oi's came along and they seem to be having more fun than anybody. For both the scars and the oi's, skinhead is a way of life. It was just being a skin, the whole feeling of being a skin and doing what we were doing, going out of pubs, having a few drinks, going to see a band, having a great laugh, even after that we'd go to parties, and even if it, if it was a dull night, we'd go home at 12 o'clock, there was something great about that night, being a skin, and when, when I wasn't a skin before that, I said, I look back now and said, what a bore it was, I used to go to the movies every Saturday night, I go play Space Invaders, what a bore. So the scar skins are just out for a good time. Politics is not an issue, like the mods, it's the clothes, the music and the group. The politics don't come into it at all. Into a, oh, right, yes. It comes into oh. boys and things like that. You get um, sort of fascists. But with um, scar skins, a lot of the skins around here, they're not that much into politics. It's something you forget about. You go out and just forget about it. The only time I think about it is when I've got a vote. <laughs> In England now, there's a new movement for Loy, which you've heard the Oi skins in Sydney, which they all follow. Many of them they follow that is because the music is just what they want. But the skin image is the image that's going to go against the government because it's people are scared of it. It just looks too rough. If you're showing something by walking down the street looking like a skin for the first place, I mean, you're showing aggression, and aggression you can show against the government, pushing you away. <laughs> The oi skinhead culture in England is a potent mix of working class and right wing politics, outrageous music and ridicule of conservative businessmen and Mrs Thatcher's government. In Australia their numbers are small, their extremism isn't as fierce. But if you meet them face to face, you should take them seriously. Most other groups are scared of the oys. So they should be. <laughs> why, should, why do you reckon they should be? I don't know, they'd beat us up, wouldn't they? If you were scared of them, they'd beat us up. So who do they fight with mainly? Most people that we do get a problem off is um, ethnics. Right. Yeah. And who are the ethnics in particular? Which ethnics? Lead. Are they heavy fights? Not really. Because the Lebanese look really. after themselves, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, right. Especially when they carry knowledge. Then again, six yeah. to one. Yeah. Well, do you Take think it's like one. that they're looking after themselves? Or? No, I don't think uh, it is at all. It's not, that's the religion, isn't it? They're like to, they're going to court with a knife and a knife. That's the religion, so the court just turns around and says, oh, yeah, that's all right, because they've been brought up that way. Yeah. Because the boys wear boots and braces and have a good pop. We're the hooligans. Do you like fighting? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you like it? It's just good. Good for, the, good for your health. Bad for this. Good for your frustration. Relieves the tension. Yeah. With all this love of the mother country and English accents, I wondered how many are Australian born. The answer is probably about half. A lot of skins you will find are English or maybe you've got English parentage. I mean, nowadays, maybe some of these skins, their dads were skins in England. Not all skinheads are racists. Some even lean the other way. But it's the racist attitudes that cause outrage. Thank you. And we'll look at that in a moment.
Racism presents itself in many ways all over Australia. But the racist attitudes of the skinheads have gained lots sure of media attention. Sure. Everybody. I mean, I've got, no. where I live in Maryville, uh, it's an ethnic community. There's, when I was at school, there was 131 form with 15 Australians and about four half-breeds. Maybe we'll just talk about it more openly than what yeah, the normal what they would. subversive Australian will. We'll come out and say, you know, I've get been, away I've been whatever. in school yeah. with them and I've heard them talk about different nationalities coming out and they've hated them. They're, they're, and we always seem to cop mainly because the way we dress. And if we say it out loud, then we get in trouble just because of the way we dress. But if any person with hair down past their ears and has a pair of sandwiches, a jeans and a t-shirt on, they say it, nothing's Nothing before happened. them. Most skinheads do agree on one thing. The halting of Asian immigration into Australia. And the always put it down to the need for jobs. It's fair enough if one wants to come here and he's going to do something that'll help us, you know. Like if we're short of it. <laughs> we're short of doctors or something, if we haven't got them, well, fair enough. But if, when they come over here and they haven't even got a job, you know, then we haven't either. Why should they get interest-free loans and that, you know? Why burden us if they've got something they can do? Why bring unemployment over here? Because you know? they come over in, like, how many of them have got jobs and we ain't? And they reckon they're all starving all over, all the brand new cars and they drive around in there around the city, isn't it? I mean, they might have worked hard for them or something like that. Yeah, they walk, oh, off, oh, they walk off the plane and get $2,000. Yeah. 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 They walk, they walk, they walk over and the government goes and gives them all this money. And time They're denouncing and the government's assistance to refugees. And they just get off the plane and get right. a job. They go in factories and they work for <laughs> twice as less as anybody else and nobody knows about it. The skins in England were very strongly associated with the National Front. What happened there, I guess what's happened here to a certain extent, is they don't like to be used by these movements, but they like to identify with them. At the same time, they don't want to feel as if these movements are using them to be strong arm boys or to be a, a good image to have up front or something. So they're in a bit of a bind themselves. I mean, yeah. they identify with it, but they don't want to, they don't like to get pushed around either.